let's do a worked example. Calculate the ground potential rise for the substation with a grid current of 17 kA and a substation grid resistance of 0 0.204 ohms. Using our formula, the ground potential rise equals the grid current multiplied by the substation grid resistance. Putting the figures in now, we have a GPR for this substation of 3468 volts, which means that looking remotely at the substation, all of the ground below the substation will rise 3468 volts, higher than remote Earth. Many utilities define a substation that has a ground potential rise greater than 650 volts as a hot site, and this substation would therefore fall into that category. Substations that are defined as hot sites need to take additional precautions to isolate the substation from the outside world. As you can imagine, this causes several serious issues. The first problem is that anything connected to the grounding grid of our substation that's gone faulty will also rise by the same GPR amount. Here we have our 132 to 33 kV substation connected via an underground cable to a 33 kV distribution substation. If a fault now occurs on the main station, as we've seen, the voltage potential of our grounding grid will now increase to 960 volts. The cable sheath is grounded to the 132 to 33 kV substation, but also the 33 kV substation. As the cable sheath is connected to both grounding systems, the voltage potential of the ground grid below the 33 kV substation will also increase to 960 volts, as will anything connected to the grounding grid, including the switchgear and transformers. But the problem is, this grounding grid will not be designed to carry such a high voltage level, and anyone stood inside the 33 kV substation or touching the metal enclosures of the equipment will be in extreme danger due to the touch and step potentials. How do we solve this problem? Well, the easiest way is not to connect the cable sheath at both ends, and it is normal practice to only connect the cable sheath to the grounding grid at the source substation, and we will therefore not get any transferred potentials. 